It's tonic time, and I'm going to put a spin on a traditional Jamaican drink known as Roots Tonic. Before I show you how I make it, I'm going to show you what inspired me to create my own version. Pharmaceuticals treat you, but the roots and the herbs and the bush cure you. Well, that's some root tonic, you know. Not I, more explain, I, you know. That's straight root kitchen. tonic, you know. I to hold on, Ratty, hold on. Straight root tonic, brother. Yeah, man, so yeah. I, I, ju I just strain off. I just strain off this into the um, into the mixing drum. So I'm going to refill this now for the second boiling, you know. Okay. So I'm going to here now. Man. Call it strong back, this? Yeah. Strong back and flat bar. A two bush, you know? Together. Yeah. Together! Come on, this is them chain root. See ya. Come on. Back pain. Male stamina. You know, blood flow. Come yeah, on, this is the chain root. Yeah, you have to swap them. So. You have to know, we have to know what we are doing. If we are going to boil it, we have to know, we have to watch out for the next three days to show up. Yeah, it looks so pretty. I've never seen anything like that in my life. <coughs> All right. But yeah, I see that now, because I didn't know I go in IT, right? So I've done it, done it now, you know. So now, three days, we deal with this issue. We have no way to go for the three days. We, mm. We want the deal when it's a good deal with so we just know say we're gonna go process it. Enough me boy. Otherwise me, me always have all the pack jug of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. Very rich, very rich the size now. We spicy. Um, sugar, honey, molasses, ginger, rose almond, vanilla, nutmeg, Irish marsh linseed. All of them things here uh, we will comprise. That is what you eventually get in one five ounce bottle. So now you know what inspired me to make my own personal tonic, American style. I'm gonna show you what I've decided to put in mine. We've got honey, bay leaves, sage, oregano, thyme mint, rosemary, star anise, ginger, cloves, cayenne pepper, cinnamon sticks, cilantro, and parsley. First we're going to get one gallon of water boiling. It's best to use distilled water so you're not contaminating your tonic with all of the chemicals that are added to drinking water these days, especially fluoride. You really want to X that out because it's a toxic substance. I'll link my fluoridated water video in the description box so you guys can get smart on that. No worries if you don't have a distiller at home because you can get a gallon jug for a dollar at Walmart. Next, we're gonna get our cilantro and parsley ready. In order to get rid of the pesticide residue, I soak everything in baking soda and water. That's one of the most effective ways to break down the pesticides. First, I use a salad spinner to dissolve the baking soda in the water. Then I'll add the herbs, spin them a little bit, then let everything sit for 20 minutes.
while the herbs are taking a 20 minute bath, it's time to prep the ginger. When you have a fruit or a vegetable with a hard surface, you can scrub off the pesticide residue. This is also very effective. I ordered this vegetable scrubber from Amazon because I couldn't find one at any of the grocery stores I go to. Ginger is a dense root, so you want to cut it in thin slices. That way the boiling water can penetrate it easier and you can get out all of the nutrients. It's been 20 minutes and it's time to rinse off the herbs. They've been sitting in water that's contaminated with pesticides, so a quick shower will knock that stuff right off. After that, I'll give them a quick spin to get rid of the excess water and they'll be ready to go. We're going to let our ginger boil for an hour. It's important to keep a lid on it so you don't lose too much water through evaporation. After an hour, it's time to add all of our other ingredients. First, we'll throw in about 20 cloves. Then some cayenne pepper. Next is about 10 to 15 star anise. Then five cinnamon sticks. Cilantro and parsley. Oregano. Time. Mint. Bay leaves. Rosemary. Sage. We'll stir everything up and let it steep for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, this is what we're looking like. Now we're going to strain everything. It's best to use a cheesecloth, but I didn't have one, so I just used a regular piece of cloth. It worked just fine though.
The last step is adding one cup of honey. This is a lot, so you're going to have to stir it for a while to make sure it's mixed well enough. After that, you let it cool, then bottle it up. Be sure to use glass containers and avoid the plastic ones. When plastic is heated up, it releases BPAs, which are carcinogens, and you don't want that nasty crap getting in your body. I ordered my glass jugs from Amazon for $30, and they came four in a box. Thanks for listening. Be sure to tap the like button and subscribe to see more healthy videos, and remember, 70 and healthy is the goal. pharmaceuticals treat you but the roots and the herbs and the bush cure you